Rabbi Mintz uh, discussed that these uh, people were sacrifices to atone for our sins. Isn't it true that Judaism doesn't believe in human sacrifices? Of course not. I said we don't make some sacrifices, but if it happens, the, the murderers made them at the sacrifices. We don't believe in made, and going ahead and making, a, we don't make some new sacrifices, but the, uh, but the, but the uh, non-Jews believe in Jewish people being sacrifices. They make them, we don't do what they do it. So they make them the sacrifices, they're sacrifices. That's, that's, that's a, it's a fact of life. That's what they did. So it's not, we want it to be that way, but it's, it's God's will and we accept it. We have no choice. If we had a choice, we'd accept it anyway. It's God's will. It said, sometimes people, you come to uh, a shiva house and people are talking and they say, well, what can we do? What can we do? So those words are not to be said, what can we do? As if we could do something, what would do something against God's will? We have to only do with God's will. If we could do something, if that's not God's will, we wouldn't do it anyway. And what could we do? That's what can we do to make it God's will that things shouldn't happen like that? That we could talk about. What can we do to, but not say, what could we do if God wants something to happen? What can we do against him? Chas v'shalom. We're not going to do against him. So we have to be careful how, how we, what we mean when we say, what can we do? When something, if something bad happens, what can we do? We have to know what, what that means. We have to have the right idea.